Hey, sportsman John Bergsma, we're here at Captain Chuck's 2 in Ludington, the biggest, best little sports shop of the north. We got six awesome reports today. We're going to take you to Lorain, Ohio with Captain Gary Zard of Blue Dolphin Walleye Charters to give you the exact recipe, how he's catching those fish down there in Lorain. We're going to move up to the Traverse City region. We're going to talk about smallmouth bass in the shallows. We're going to talk about perch as well and just mention the fact that the Cisco bite, that casting Cisco bite, is really honking along. Then we're going to move over to St. Ignace where I was on the water on Sunday and I've got a great personal report from on the water there. We banged nine really nice Lakers, probably lost as many more right there out of the Straits area, fishing basically right around Mackinac Island. Then we're going to slide over to Alpena. Captain Steve from Chumbucket is not only catching Lakers during the day, but if you can brave it, he's doing some walleye stuff in the evening at night. And then we're going to go down here right to where Captain Chucks is in Ludington. And we're happy to tell you we've got some solid king showing up. They, they, they showed up over in Grand Haven about a week ago. They bumped up to Pentwater, Ludington, and Manistee this week. And if it wasn't for some super strong northwest winds, we'd probably been all over this a week ago. But the winds were such that we really couldn't talk about it. So last report of the day across the bridge up in Marquette County where Mike from Marquette Adventures is really into the stream uh, fishing and also the river steelhead action. Standard Rock is firing. Stay tuned for six great reports here on Fisherman's Digest. So hey, Captain Gary Zart from Blue Dolphin Walleye Charters has made the move from the Port Clinton area over to Lorraine. And the reason he's done it is because the fish are just way out in front down in that Lake Erie area. They had a pretty good early spawn there and that means the bigger fish and a good number of fish always end up pushing east pretty quickly into the year. Well, Captain Gary is actually even running east from Lorraine all the way to Avon to catch his fish. Now, where are the fish located? The, the program Gary's running is super simple. He's running just a mix of bandits and uh, yozuris from 1.8 to 2.4 miles an hour, and he's putting them back about 45 to 80 feet. Now, where the fish are holding is the secret. They're somewhere between 25 and 50 feet, but of total overall depth. The problem Gary's bumped into is he's had to do out and in trolls, almost like salmon fishing, where you're really searching a wide range of depths to try and isolate where the fish are that morning or that afternoon. So that's basically his program. He's setting his sets up uh, 45, 50, 55, all the way out to 80, setting a good spread of eight rods up, and then he's starting in 25 feet of water, and basically he's just headed out to 50 and then taking it back in to 25. And on a, on a couple of in and out trolls, he's able to identify, oh, today the fish are in 35 or 37 or 42. So that's been the pattern. Now basically, same thing, you're matching the day with the brightness of the day to the lures you're choosing. So anyway, Lorraine, Ohio, 25 to 50 feet of water, bandits out 45 to 80, speed is 1.8 to 2 depending on the warmth of the day. Check out the full line of Polar Craft boats at polarcraft.com. So our next report, we got a couple props here for this. We're going to the Traverse City region and we've got two reports, one from Captain Tony DiFilippo, one from Bob Hines. And really, we've got three good bites going on in the Traverse City region. Now the first one is Captain Tony D, who's been chucking some big swim baits along with a squadron jig head. And this is, happens to be the sexy shad in 375. That worked extremely slow, guys, extremely slow. So you're basically getting out on some sloping breaks, 
just outside of spawning areas. That's where the smallies are holding. Oh, maybe five to 20 feet of water. And then making long casts, the water super clean, making long casts, letting it hit the bottom, maybe popping it once, and then just reeling that as slow as you can and still have that tail moving. Uh, this has been super cold water. We're a little bit behind because of all the northwest winds and cold water up in Traverse City. But Tony, as you can see by the pictures, is catching some mongo smallmouth bass. And they're all pre-spawn, obviously, uh, because of the cold water temperatures. But they're there, and they're starting to load those shallows up. For, so if you're into catching huge pre-spawn smallmouth, give Captain Tony D from Up North Smallmouth Charters a call. Now, I got a couple perch pounders in my hand. That's because Captain Bob Hines is still catching perch. One of the big, wonderful things about this cooler than average spring, especially those nighttime temperatures, is that the perch bite on the greater bays has been awesome. I mean, the, the schools are still thick, according to Bob, and this offers some of the best eating anywhere in the country, as you know, is Great Lakes Traverse City perch. Now, we're catching them on perch pounders, tipped with minnows or tipped with raw shrimp. Uh, that's been my two best presentations over the years. Uh, and the fish are, are moving around a little bit, but they're pretty locked in on their depths right now. And the schools are thick enough, you should be able to find them. So if you're looking to get out on a charter, Captain Bob from Central Coast Angling, that Central Coast Angling right up there in Traverse City, he can get you out right now on a good perch bite. And also, we mentioned Cisco's. There's an awesome, if you get a calm day, there's an awesome bite for casting ciscos, similar to smallmouth bass fishing, and you're going to cast them and you're going to blade bait your way back in. I'm telling you what, these ciscos are just fun to catch this way. A lot of people troll them up in Traverse City, but you can cast for them, especially in the month of May, and it's just a much different experience and a lot of rod and hand action. So check it out. Traverse City region, we've got the report up on our website at fishermansdigest.com. Go to Destination Traverse City, click on that report, and it's right there online for you. Freeway Sports Center is Southeast Michigan's fishing boat headquarters. Freeway carries the full line of Angler Quest fishing pontoons and Polar Craft boats, powered by Honda outboard engines. Stop by our showroom today at US 23 and Thompson Road in Fenton or visit us online at freewaysports.com. Spring, summer, fall or winter, get to Freeway Sports Center. So my personal report this week is from St. Ignace. This past Sunday, I took the camera crew up to St. Ignace. We launched right out of St. Ignace, stayed at the Driftwood, had an awesome play. Hey, listen, you're looking for great whitefish dinner, the Driftwood Bar and Restaurant right there connected to the Driftwood Motel. They might have the best whitefish dinner anywhere, and I love it. I order it almost every time. But like I said, we went out Laker fishing right around Mackinac Island, around Round Island, and the north tip of Boys Blank. That's a real short ride from the St. Ignace uh, boat ramp, and let me tell you what, we whacked them. Now, the problem with this trip was we probably lost as many fish as we caught because they were just doing a little nipping for the first half of the day. But I've got the two hot lures right here. This is a, cru a golden crushed ice, this, both super slims, and the other one is a crazy bee. Those two lures were on fire for us, caught lots of Lakers and some big ones. Now the system that we were using uh, to catch these fish was 35 feet of total overall water depth. That seemed to be the ticket, 35 feet. So that 35 feet seems to be the ticket in a lot of different Great Lakes locations right now and we were running out coppers 50 feet and 125 feet, and that 125 feet's down about 30, so it was real close to the bottom. We also caught fish on high divers out 60, set on a three and a half set, so pegged all the way out, 60 or 65 seemed to catch some fish as well. So, Saginaw, uh, I'm sorry, not Saginaw, St. Ignace Lakers, are already going. They've been going jigging as well in front of the Grand Hotel up to the towards the St. Ignace side of the island, the Grand Hotel around up to Stone Cliff Point. 
So those are a couple of good bites. These bites are gonna hang on for, shoot, the water temple is only 37 degrees. So this is gonna be another six weeks of really good fishing, real close to the St. Ignace launch. You always get the best at Bex Trailer Superstore, the nation's largest trailer dealer. With over 1,500 trailers on 45 acres, you won't find a better selection anywhere. Whether you're looking for an open or enclosed trailer for work or play, you'll find the perfect trailer at Bex. We have flexible financing options through several national and local lenders to offer the most competitive rates and payments from only $69 per month with approved credit. For the best selection of quality trailers at unbeatable prices, call 888-SAVE-BEX or visit BexTrailerStore.com. So hey, our next report is Captain Steve Hubert out of uh, Alpena, and he has just been, sorry, just lights out whacking him. On this past weekend, Steve texted me that he was in and out for the morning trip and then in and out for the afternoon trip in less than two hours for each trip of actual time spent in the water. He could have brought his crew to shore. They caught over 20 Lakers that day and it was just stupid. There's lots of fish in the greater Thunder Bay area. And one of the things as you see the pictures going by is Steve has learned a certain type of evening and slash night bite for walleyes right there in Thunder Bay during the early part of the season. So you see those walleye pictures going through and you go, whoa, 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 what, what's going on there? Yep, Steve can catch walleyes on Thunder Bay, but it's gonna be an evening excursion. So just get a hold of Captain Steve and see what he's got available. You know, if he's not chartering the next morning really early, maybe he can get you and your group out on a really fun walleye excursion. And the, the fish out of Thunder Bay taste fantastic. They are possibly some of the best eating fish because of that super clean water and they've spent their life eating smelt and gobies. So walleye are tasty there. The Lakers are jumping in the boat. Give Captain Steve Hubert from Chum Bucket a call. Same program, same fishing report is almost everywhere else. 45 to 55 foot of water seems to be the best up there in the greater Thunder Bay region. Brightly colored super slims. Why Lakeside Motorsports in Nelson Speed Shop for your outdoor fun adventure? Michigan's Pontoon Superstore. Motorcycles both street and dirt. Outboard and inboards, UTVs, ATVs, fishing boats, golf carts, trailers, generators, lawnmowers, both zero turn and push behind. From over 36 name brand manufacturers and a top-notch service department with a state-of-the-art service facility. Why would you go anywhere else? For any kind of outdoor fun and adventure, we got it, so come get it. Your summer fun begins at Lakeside Motorsports and Nelson Speed Shop. So we're hearing Captain Chuck's, like I said, here in Ludington, Michigan, and that's because we got our Ludington report. It's our first king report of the year. Uh, we've heard of some kings biting over the last week or so. It's been a little bit tough negotiating the wind. I got a couple props here to help guys get a start because these early season kings are going, and these were the two spin doctors last weekend that seemed to stand out as the hottest ones. Now this one here, trout candy, that's what it's called. That actually was biting, uh, working really good for, for early morning bites. And then of course, Kevin's girlfriend is a standby here in the Ludington area. That green and blue is a go-to bait. Now these seem to be the two colors that were working good too. Spotted Starburst and UV Frosted Veggie. This is the UV Frosted Veggie. Those two spoons were catching fish consistently. So we've got a lot of the charters getting rolling here in the next week or so. They've got their boats in the water. They're just getting all their rods and stuff fine-tuned. If you're looking to get out early, you know, you might want to give one of the Ludington Area Charter Association guys a call and see if you can get on that early schedule. Because the nice thing is, is once the kings show up with this cooler water and this real gradual spring and early summer we've had, these fish should stay around to the end of June for sure. And that's a good thing because that gives us a good six, even seven weeks to catch these fish. And the charters are ready to go to take care of you. The guys here at Captain Chuck's have got stock shelves. This is probably the most stocked uh, bait store I've seen anywhere in the last month. So uh, Scott and the guys here have kept done a good job of knowing what was going to happen, that people were going to short supply. We've got lots of Dreamweaver Super Slims. I'm standing in front of a loaded rack. I know all the spoon racks are full here. They've got lots of boards. The new, the new boards are all out on the rack as well. So if you're looking for something, 
Get, come on down to Captain Chuck's. If you're too far away, Captain Chuck's can take your order right over the phone or online. They can ship you that product and you cannot be left out in the dark when other people are running out of product. So kings are biting here in Ludington. The report, 35 to 45 feet back. That's, I'm not back, total water depth. That's the, that's the truth. They're right tight to the beach, which makes fishing pretty easy right now. And the Lakers, the Lakers have been holding steady from 40 to 60 feet of total water depth. And most of it's coming on a combination of lead core or divers. You know, I've heard guys catching them from three all the way out to seven colors of lead. And you know, on the high divers, maybe 60 back. So you're getting right in tight to shore and you're working them shoreline breaks with lead and divers and that should get you bit with not only kings right away in the morning. It's an early bite right now, just be aware of that. If you put your boat in at seven o'clock, you're probably gonna be too late. You wanna get out there early for these kings because they're biting fast and furious early and then it shifts to the trout. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose-built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next-level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Come on in to Babbitt. We're open for fun. So hey, last report of the day, Mike Coziera up at Marquette Adventures tells me, and you'll see it as these fish go across the screen, he is catching some super nice fish. Now Mike's turned into a bit of a, he likes fly fishing aficionado. I've been, I've been talking with Mike and he's been wanting to get into fly fishing himself. And the stream fishing up there in the Marquette County area is so good that he's taking the time to learn how to fly fish. And he says, man, the bite has been awesome. He's also catching a lot of really nice native species on spinners. So fly fishing and spinners, stream fishing, native species is going great up there in the Marquette County region. Another thing that has been going for the last th several weeks, and because again, because of this prolonged, really gradual warming up, not the big bang heat wave that we're used to the last few years, this has been a real ease into it type of spring. Well, Marquette Steelhead Run has just kept right on going. They've got some beautiful fish coming in. They're catching them on a combination of beads, spawn, and also stoneflies. So if you're into late season in God's country steelhead fishing on some rivers that haven't seen near the pressure that you're used to here downstate, Head on up to Marquette County, get a hold of Mike from Marquette Adventures, get yourself out there with one of their guides and experience an awesome adventure surrounded by some of the most beautiful nature anywhere here in the state of Michigan. So hey, six reports, sorry, I know we've always, always done five reports, but people are calling left and right telling me, John, the fishing's great here. John, the fishing's great there. We left out some really good reports from Southwest Michigan out of uh, St. Joe and some central, central part of the state pan fishing. But next week, we're gonna talk about that pan fishing as the pan fishing on major lakes like Hamlin and Houghton and, and all those other big normal bod gun lake down in the south central part of the state. The speck fishing and the bluegill fishing are gonna start to fire because we've got warm weather coming. By Wednesday here, we're gonna be in the 60s and 70 by the weekends. That's all it's gonna take to get the big pan fishing push going here on a lot of these lakes. So we'll be back talking to you next week. We'll continue to talk about the other species, but we're gonna have a good section on panfish next week here on the Fisherman's Digest. Thanks for joining us.